Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way to clean up um, dust or um, lint on fabric. So in this photo, um, the blanket had a little bit of um, just like little fuzzy pieces on it that I wanted to edit out. Um, and instead of having to clone or heal out each individual piece, I wanted to show you today a way you can do it um, that I think works a lot quicker, especially if, you know, someone's wearing like black and they've got um, animal hair or, I don't know, really any, it works on any fabric. Um, you just have to play with the sliders a little bit. So let me show you what I mean. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my background layer. Um, now I'm just going to do that by dragging this down over that little sheet of paper right there. Um, and then I'm going to go to Filter, Noise, and then I'm going to go to Dust and Scratches. And now, as you can see, it already started cleaning up that blanket a little bit. Um, now let's see that your sliders were not where mine were set to. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to increase your radius until those little pieces are blurred out enough. Um, that's at 3, and I, don't, I can still see them a little bit. So I'm going to go up just a little higher, maybe around 7. Um, and that looks good. Now ignore the texture right now. We haven't added that back in yet. This is just to get rid of those little pieces. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to threshold and you're going to increase this until you see the texture of um, the piece of fabric um, return, basically. So you're going to keep increasing this. That still looks a little bit soft, but we're getting better. Um, you can just keep increasing until that texture is back to how you want it. Um, I think that looks pretty good. That's um, radius of 7, threshold at 31. This is definitely going to depend on the fabric that you're using um, and on your individual photo. So feel free to play around with these sliders until they look good for your particular image. Um, and once you're done, just hit OK. Now with this, um, I want it to be really controlled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask just by hitting this little rectangular button with the circle inside. And I'm going to hit Control i um, and why I like to do this is I just want to make sure that that, um, that effect can look different on skin, it can look different on hair, so I really just want to make sure that that effect is only applied where I want it or where I need it. Um, so by doing this, adding the layer mask and then flipping it um, to black, it's keeping that little, um, that little adjustment that we made hidden until I choose to paint it on the photo. And that's what I like to do just in case um, you know, it messes with the hair or the skin or something like that. I want to be in control of where it goes. So. Um, when the mask is black, I just make sure that my brush over here is set to white and my opacity is at 100%. And I'm just going to paint over um, the blanket just quickly here. And you can see these little spots are just disappearing. Um, and what I like about this is that you don't have to be super precise because you've already adjusted those um, sliders and stuff. So you can just kind of sweep across and get it all cleaned up. And on this image, it might not seem like a lot, but if someone's got a shirt that actually has kind of a lot of hair on it or something like that, it really allows you to just sweep through, get it all nice and clean, and then you can move on and you don't have to clone each individual piece, um, if that makes sense. So again, he would, I can show you the before and after. This is the before, and then this is after. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um, have fun putting it to use on your photos, and hopefully it saves you some time. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.